So what is the role of design at Potential Motors? Design at its core has two fundamental elements, function and form, which when they're blended together appropriately serve a higher need, and that is the human element. Humans, we're complicated. We have objective needs from products and vehicles. A thing has to go so far and carry so much. But we also have subjective needs. We want it to make us feel a certain way. In order to explain how we use these tools and what we've done here in order to achieve the product goals that we wanted, I'm going to tell you a little story. And like all good stories, it starts with a question. How did we end up here? And by here, I mean, it's a van. So this is not what most people expect. Uh, and certainly it is not like anything else in the marketplace. Now vans have been around for a long time. Uh, essentially they were born, the van as we see it, a, a box shape on four wheels, in the 1960s. Car companies took existing car platforms and basically extruded them upwards. Famously, Ford did this with the Econo line on top of the Falcon passenger car platform. And then, of course, Volkswagen made the famous microbus on the Volkswagen Beetle platform. The objective of these vehicles was really simple. Make something that drives and handles like a car, um, but has tons and tons of space inside. The original minivans of the 1980s were, like their siblings from the past, um, just car platforms built upwards. And they had all those virtues. They were easy to use. They could do a lot of things. But then, as happens in the vehicle design, each successive generation, they grow. They get a little more powerful. They get a little bigger. They add a feature. If you compare a Chrysler minivan from 1985 to a contemporary Chrysler Pacifica, you'll see that they are almost twice the weight and they are much, much larger vehicles. And by being that much bigger on the outside, They've lost a lot of that functionality on the inside. The same thing happened with campers. Campers were vans designed for camping. And then they fell out of favor as people had more and more powerful vehicles and started to tow trailers. Camping trailers were small, basic, modest. But over time, as passenger cars got bigger, the trailers got bigger. At some point, the original mission maximizing the opportunity space inside while minimizing the vehicle outside gets lost. Here at Potential Motors, we started and always start with a human-centric mission in mind. Not a spec sheet, not some numbers. We asked ourselves, what do people want? What's missing? So the mission here for the Adventure One was really kind of going back to basics. We want two up to four people to go off the beaten track, literally on trails, not roads, places where no conventional overland vehicle or even a Jeep can fit, but provide for those people using our vehicle as much opportunity space inside as possible for whatever their mission is. Maybe it's bringing along a couple of kayaks, maybe it's two full-size dirt bikes and all the equipment and spares you need. But then after you get to that remote location and you set up your camp, you want to have the comforts that you were expecting from a camper. This was the mission. And the goal was to do it in a low impact way and make it fit on those impossible to reach places. We started by asking ourselves fundamental questions. What shape will allow all of this versatility on this package? And there really was only one answer, and that was a van.